Parking services helps uh, subsidize the cost of, of Clemson Air Transit. Why free parking is of no benefit. Today, we're diving into a topic that affects every driver, parking. Specifically, we're going to explore why free parking may not be as beneficial as it seems. So, grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and let's get started. As the automobile took over the world, so did parking lots and parking garages. And for decades, they were pretty good business. In fact, we kept building them. But have you ever stopped to think about the true cost of free parking? Well, today, we're going to uncover why it might not be as great as it sounds. According to Shoop Research in 2006, parking-related traffic can account for a staggering 30-50% to 50 of total traffic during peak times. In his book, The High Cost of Free Parking, Shoop argues against the concept of free parking and proposes a variable market-set pricing scheme. Cities like San Francisco have already started experimenting with this approach, and studies have shown that it reduces cruising time and traffic congestion. When somebody decides they want to open a new restaurant or open a new building, instead of saying it needs X number of spaces, we could say, let's look at the parking stock and find accommodations that are already there. Office parking could be used at night for residential parking. That dentist's office parking lot could become the parking lot for a restaurant. The other part is pricing. If you institute a parking fee, you'll find out exactly how many people are willing to pay to park there. If you keep raising prices until you always have spots available, you'll find out exactly how high it needs to be to create a few open spots on every block. Because it might seem like it only takes you a couple of minutes to find a spot for free, but the net effect is thousands of miles of driving every day across the United States. There's an unbelievable amount of driving being done just looking for parking spaces. You can look up a restaurant and look at exactly how to get there, but finding good parking is dependent on local knowledge. If you want to park downtown, you should be able to know it's going to cost this much and you can do it here. That should be made clear at every highway exit to downtown, but it's not. Understanding the efficiency of parking arrangements, user preferences, and driving behavior is crucial in identifying and addressing potential parking issues. The presence or absence of parking infrastructure in dense areas can affect city traffic, transportation, and emissions, leading to increased pollution and driver frustration. Moreover, the location and availability of parking lots can significantly impact the surrounding business ecosystem. Interestingly, psychological factors can also influence parking behavior. Some individuals feel uncomfortable on public transport, which can lead to a perception of poor personal safety and a preference for driving. Additionally, parking skills and malicious parking behaviors, such as pavement parking, have been identified as important topics. Marketing strategies related to parking also play a significant role. The COVID-19 pandemic has further highlighted the impact of parking systems, particularly near hospitals, where solidarity was shown to help care workers access parking lots. The lessons learned during this time can be extrapolated to other domains, potentially leading to a high societal impact. The problem with free parking. In many urban areas with high parking demand, when we subsidize the cost of parking and freeze its price at zero, the number of people who want parking exceeds the available spots. People tend to occupy spots all day without metered pricing to stimulate turnover, leading to wasted time and increased cruising for scarce open spaces. Research suggests that the free parking subsidy encourages more driving and increases the total number of miles driven. A recent study found that residents in areas with minimum parking requirements in Brooklyn, Queens, and the Bronx were more likely to drive to work in Manhattan compared to those living and working in the same areas. Let's take a look at a best practice example, San Francisco's SF Park. This program is widely recognized for its innovative approach to paid parking design and operation. 
SF Park aims to make at least one parking space available per block or achieve an 85% occupancy rate to minimize the time spent searching for parking. SF Park utilizes in-ground parking sensors to detect and report real-time parking availability. Drivers can check parking fees and availability through various means, such as the SF Park smartphone app or text messages, allowing them to compare costs and convenience against other modes of transportation. One key feature of SF Park is its flexible pricing model. Parking rates can be adjusted based on demand with regular increments. Beijing, China Since 2013, ITDP China has worked with the Beijing Municipal Commission of Transport to develop new forward-thinking parking strategies. Over the last decade, to combat hazardous and unregulated parking behaviors that have taken hold citywide, Beijing has taken measures to eliminate free on-street parking, implemented new on-street parking management systems, and reclaimed street space for pedestrians and cyclists. Delhi, India in 2019, the Delhi government formulated the Delhi Maintenance and Management of Parking Places Rules, which aims to improve and overhaul parking management in Delhi to make streets safer, more accessible, and more sustainable. Among other proposals, the policy takes progressive steps to address the surge in congestion and haphazard parking that is a daily occurrence in the city of over 18 million. Proposed solutions include protecting pedestrian access on streets in all residential areas. Mexico City, Mexico Mexico City is a key regional example of a city that has committed to easing congestion and driving by addressing parking reform directly. In 2017, the city announced changes in the construction code that would curtail the development of further off-street parking in new developments. This change transformed traditional minimum parking requirements to maximums and put Mexico City, the largest city in North America, on a path towards reducing car use and mitigating rising emissions and pollution. Now, let's see effective parking management strategies that can address the challenges associated with free parking. Number 1. Subsidizing Off-Street Parking While this approach makes parking cheaper and brings it into policy, it essentially becomes a public subsidy for driving, discouraging the use of public transportation. Number 2. Strengthening penalties for illegal parking Communities with unused parking spaces and rampant on-road parking should strengthen management, with relevant departments supervising and guiding property companies and urban management departments. Number 3. Advanced Parking Enforcement Technology Governments should develop detailed parking codes and enforcement methods for various violations. Advanced technologies such as cameras, image processing systems, and data transmission. Number 4. Seeking a balance in parking provision. Many parking lot designs result in excessive spaces. Implementing a green parking lot concept with maximum limits on parking spaces and minimizing dimensions can improve the visual aspect, especially in residential areas. Number 5. Promoting Efficient Public Transportation To address parking space shortages, we must focus on reducing the number of vehicles on the road. Investing in an efficient and reliable public transport system can encourage people to choose public transportation over private vehicles. So there you have it. Free parking may not be as beneficial as it seems. The true cost of parking goes beyond the price tag and affects traffic congestion, pollution, and our reliance on cars. I hope you found it informative and thought-provoking. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful discussions. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.